first example and the example is a line cd 90 mm long measures 72 mm in front view and 65 mm in top view draw the two views of line if it fully lies in first quadrant find the inclination of line cd if point c is 10 mm above hp and 15 mm in front of vp so in this example we have the true length of line cd that is 90 mm its front view length it is 72 mm and its top view length we don't have any angle made by the line we have the position of point c above hp and in front of vp so as usual i set the dim style i set xy line i define the plane above xy is vertical plane where we see front view below xy is a horizontal plane where we observe top view now i'm going to set a point c so i open the line command I open this O snap and ortho mode. I click somewhere on line XY. I click on this point and I travel in upward direction. So point C is 10 mm above HP. I enter value 10, press enter, and immediately I add locus of that point A. Press escape. Similarly, it is 15 mm in front of VP. So from similar point on XY, I travel in downward direction, enter value 15, press enter, and immediately I add the locus of point C dash. So all these lines should be faint. So I select these lines, and I select index color 9 for it. I give name to the point by using dt command. So this point is C, this point is C dash, this is locus of C, this is locus of C dash. Now we have true length as well as front view and top view length, but we don't have any angle made by the line. Now we are going to use the principle that when the apparent length is parallel to xy, then we can observe true length of that particular line in a other plane. So now we begin with the top view length. So top view length is 65 mm. So now I'm going to make this 65 mm length parallel to xy in a top view. So this is point C dash. From here, I draw one horizontal line. And this line length is 65. And from here, immediately I draw vertical line. The, your reference point is created so you just off this o snap and i open o snap select this point and i off it and then i draw a vertical line like this so the true length of line cd in a front view okay, will lie somewhere that point d will lie somewhere on this particular vertical line so first I make both these lines faint and then I open the circle command and I draw a circle of radius 90 and which begins with this point C. I enter radius as 90. So this intersection point of vertical line and circle is the point D 
Now I'm going to connect it with point C. So this is the position of true length of the line. Now we don't require this circle anymore. So I just delete it. And I add the distance and angle made by this true length. This is angle of true length. And this is true length that is visible in a front view. I give the name to the point. I use DT command for that. So this is point D. Now I can draw a locus of D from this side and from other side also. So this is locus of D. I make it faint. I add the name. <coughs> locus of D. So this distance is 90 and the distance reference distance that is the top view length that we used for it is a 65. If you want you can show that distance also. Actually this distance is not required but for understanding purpose I show this distance over here. So this distance is 65. Now we know that the front view length is 72 mm. So the point D in a front view will lie on this particular locus. So now I'm going to draw a circle of 72 mm which begins from this point C. And I enter the radius as 72. So this circle intersects the locus at this location. So I connect that. So this is 72 distance. Now we don't want this circle or we can remove the unwanted part of the circle because we keep this rotation arc as it is because we are interested to rotate this 72 distance on the locus of C so that this apparent length will become parallel to XY and we will get the position of the true length in a top view. So I make this arc faint. So this distance is 72. We just show it by using align distance. So this is 72. We measure this angle. Angular and this angle is 60. Now we rotate this point D dash or D1 on locus of C and we make that apparent length parallel to XY. And from here we draw a vertical line like this. I make this line faint. I add the name to this point. So this point is D1. Now we rotated this line that 72 mm distance on locus of C. And from here we draw the vertical line. So the true length, that is the point D dash of true length will be on this vertical line. So we can take the circle command. We click on this C dash. We move the cursor and add the radius of circle as 
true length that is 90 and press enter so now you connect this c dash with this intersection point just off this ortho mode this is the intersection point and from here you can draw a locus of d dash like this in other direction also we can add the locus now we don't want this circle we just delete it we make this locus line faint and we give the name to the point as d dash this is locus of d dash now the top view length is 65 so we draw the circle of 65 radius that means we are rotating this point so i just click on this point so here we get this point of intersection we connect it so this is the apparent length now i delete the unwanted part of the circle we just keep this arc So we now we can see the distances. So this is top view length. It is 65. This is true length in a top view. It is 90. We show the angles. So this is true inclination 37 degree and this one is the apparent inclination which is 56 degree now we can trim the unwanted lines like this so this is the complete solution where we get the inclinations of true length in both planes it is in a front view the inclination of true length is 44 degree in top view inclination of true length is 37 degree the front view length inclination is 60 degree and top view length inclination is 56 degree okay so this is the complete solution of the problem thank you we'll stop here